hi welcome back all right so today we are going to be talking about the templates the style and themes in microsoft word all right without waste of time let's proceed now talking about the templates we can get templates from microsoft word at least it actually saves time and stress so when you come here you see so many templates we have from the letters to resumes to blog posts and so many even that of reports we can find all of them here and in a case whereby we need a template that we can't find here we can just do well to come here and search for online templates and we will find now that is so so that is how we can actually get templates maybe if we are trying to get our work done quick or if we do not want to design much so we can actually use any template of our choice so let's see let's see now we want to use this how do we use it just click on it then something pops up okay it didn't actually pop up okay when you click on it it opens now with this you can actually remove whatever you don't want here and insert yours so like pick the dates just click click here select today and today's date is actually there so you can use the resume to get your work done faster all right so let's also talk about the style now the style we will find the style in our home tab the style is right here in this ribbon styles the group called styles that's where you find the styles now when and where can we use the styles if you watch if i should i like this then select any of these styles it actually changes now the style is like collection of other tools that that can be used maybe in editing a particular text or formatting a text that is whereby you are applying both the bold the italic the underline the size the font the color and the rest of that that is when you're applying it on a particular style now if you watch this style heading one if i should click on this this now changes to heading one the style for this head one this is it here so we can actually create our own style how can we do so come here you see this create a style now i click on this to create a style what is the style name let's say i'll leave it at format format all right after doing that i just come to modify to add some styles to it like making it bold italic and the rest of that just click here now this is the name of it so i want the style to be based on heading one so i can come here to select the color i can make it bold on the line italic and also to increase the size or even change the font okay let me remove this now this is a style i'm creating so when i'm done i just hit okay and now this is the style here so if i want to apply it just highlight it click this now these are other style microsoft word has actually created for us just click anyone it applies on it so that is all for the styles now moving over to the teams the teams is also amazing all right so let's say we are going to be applying the teams here now just going to go to design go to teams and now if i want to apply any of the, this theme on it i just go select and click it applies on it i can also change the color by using any of these colors for the theme all right let me highlight it again right it's actually applying only do okay let me take it to a place where you actually see the way it's applying okay let me use it here 
now teams you see it now all of these teams is they're having their fonts they're having different ways in which they have been created so this basic this is the way the team actually looks like some of them are having fonts their own colors okay so all of these are different teams we can use so we can also browse for teams and we can also see if current team all right so that's more we need to know concerning the teams it's not really a special tool but it's also important we know all right i'm just going to select this and this is for the team all right so this way we're going to stop for today so you guys can also play around with it and continue to learn more on what we have been teaching so far so see you guys next time and stay safe